Over the course of the pandemic, the health inequalities impacting people from less affluent areas have been laid bare. The region's hardest hit by coronavirus seem to be mostly working class districts with high levels of deprivation. But keeping a positive outlook, Dr George Ray believes now is the time to fix the problem once and for all. What health inequalities mean are the social economic determinants which lead to ill health. So what you're talking about is housing, the type of housing, the, many, the amount of people who are in your house, the job, the type of job you do, indeed whether you have a job, education, uh, let's be honest, the digital divide which is increasing as a result of the pandemic, uh, and generally deprivation. And when you add all those determinants together, what can happen that can lead to ill health. What the virus has shown is when the virus comes into the population, you're less able to withstand the actual virus. And that was shown in the first wave. In the Northeast, uh, we had the highest infection rate as far as the COVID-19 is concerned. And very tragically, tragically at the time, the highest death rate. I think now the government is starting to, to realize this, but it's been known for a long time. And you might say, well, is this news? I would say, no, it's not specifically news because we've known about it for so long. But what is news is that it has taken a new virus, a pandemic, to actually lay bare something which must be resolved. I think politicians of all parties now will realize that as we move forward, as we come out of the pandemic, this is something which can and must and will be resolved.